So here's my compost bin that I built out of old screens. We recently replaced our windows and those screens were going to end up in the landfill anyway. And this first one lifts out. I've got the new stuff going in, in on this side and I've got this divided and the older. This will be ready in a few months to use. It's best to turn the compost about once a week or once every two weeks. And I've got so much compost that it's, it's just easier for me to pull it all out, put it in bags, and then dump it back in. And it definitely goes through phases. There's a phase where I get maggots and all kinds of creatures living in here. But eventually they, they can't take the heat. They either leave or they cook. When you see steam, it's actually gases released, mostly methane gas. Coffee grounds and food scraps should be considered green. This paper should be considered brown's category because it's like dried leaves. The greens have the nitrogen in the browns, the dried leaves and the shredded paper. You don't want it to be too dry, you don't want to be too moist. Okay, I'm a pretty aggressive composter, so I have taken all the compost out of, the, out of my little bin here. The reason I do that is so that when I put it back in, it aerates everything and it needs a good mixture of, of greens and browns and that's a chance for me to uh, make sure that I've got a good mixture together. I've got shredded paper from work. I use that as a bed. Then I've got some grass clippings that I'm going to add to it and I'm going to layer everything. And this is a bag of coffee grounds from Starbucks that they give out freely. They're so generous. And then I've got more shred of paper that I'll save for another week. It takes about six to 12 months before the process is complete. And when it is, I have this compost over here that is ready to use in the garden. It doesn't get much better than this. One teaspoon of this soil has billions of microorganisms, more microorganisms than there are people on Earth. 